I was just about to knock off for the day and Julie just sent me a, a video through on WhatsApp saying uh, that a property that we have bought an HMO is just finished. She's done a video walkthrough and uh, can I do the final video for it? So if you don't know what these are, these are our most requested videos. They're also the ones that are likely to get the comments saying, eh, what on earth is that? What's he going on about? Um, if you're one of those is thinking, I don't really understand what this is, go back to the beginning of the channel, you know, go to the channel bits and you know, read, read and, and watch, watch videos all the way through. We're a company, we're a, we're a, um, a letting agency. You know, we fix leaky taps, we uh, collect rent, but we're more than that. We also uh, not only famous for two things. W one is we build a, a business plan for our landlords. So if you know, go to our website, you'll see a bit about that. Go through the channel, you'll see a bit about that. But we're also, second thing we're famous for is helping our landlords build their own property portfolio. So we will stand shoulder to shoulder with them. We'll find the property, we'll fix it up, and then we'll rent it out. So we're a letting agent, but if you need to grow your property portfolio, we'll do that hard work, that heavy lifting uh, for you, and we'll, we'll, we'll grow your property portfolio you know, almost on autopilot. Okay, so every time we pick up the keys to a house we've bought, we're doing, I don't know, anywhere between 15 and 20 properties a month for our clients. So we find, fix and rent between 15 and 20 properties a month. Every time we start one, pick up the keys, and every time we finish one, the person who found fixing is then gonna rent the thing out, the, the, the wider team spread out all over the UK, they do a video at the beginning and the end. They send it through to me, I do a little quick narration and then I hand over to them. This one's gone on a little bit longer than it would do normally, so I'm gonna hand over to Julie in a second. It's an HMO, the reason I sort of want to talk about it a little bit more is HMOs throughout the COVID lockdown, there was loads of ups and downs on them. And if you're one of our landlords that's got HMOs, you'll be well versed in that. Um, at one point we had over 200 empty rooms. People just left, it was scary as hell, you know. Um, we rented them all again. Um, now they are in as much demand as they were before, plus everybody else that left still in this house. It feels like there's twice the demand, you know, these things are gonna, definitely gonna rent out um, within a yeah, ma matter of seconds, uh, in, in, in the right place, as long as they're in the right condition, the right place, and, and priced at the right rent. We have had some stick in for a, for a little while there. If, if, if they haven't gone in, uh, two weeks, a room in two weeks, then you know you, you, you got your pricing wrong or, or there's something wrong with the condition of the property because generally speaking in all the areas, across all the areas now, HMO rooms are just flying out. So Julie's going to do is a walk, walk through of all these HMOs. I'd urge anybody, if you were thinking about HMOs, HMOs before, but if you're put off, now's the time to get back into it. Um, there's a few scares on the horizon, maybe, you know, um, not, not on the horizon, they're here now, aren't they? Um, energy rates, energy bills and, and whatnot going up. They have gone up. Energy energy bills have gone up, but it's not a deal breaker. You know, 20 and 30 percent here and there. You can still get a, a, a half decent fixed rate. Um, it's not going to be forever, is it? We know that there's a peak. It might go up a little bit more, but it's going to come down. You're going to own these HMOs for 10 years, so let's not worry about the short-term um, energy price. It doesn't make much of a difference anyway. Right now, you know, you might be looking at spending another 100, 150 pounds per month on an HMO through all their energy bills. It's not a deal breaker, you know. You're probably going to manage to put 25 to 30, 40, maybe even 50 pounds rent on each of the rooms. So, in some ways, you know, everything's going up, and so is your margin. In some ways, if if, if that's you're not guaranteed to get those rent rises immediately, but I think I think that they're, they're coming in the next six to 12 months. Um, I'm certainly getting back into the HMOs as well. The main driving factor for me, for, for me, and I think it would be and should be for you, is we only buy HMOs in non-Article 4 areas. So that's area where you don't need planning permission for, for HMOs. We always have them that way. And um, every now and again, we'll get, get an existing HMO in an Article 4 area and we, we buy those and they're easy. But what we don't like is buying a HMO in an area where we're not sure if we can get planned permission because then we've just bought a house and we don't know what we're going to do with it. So we're not being clever by buying these ones in Article 4. It's just out of necessity. We want to be sure that we can take it from... Um, property, you know, three bed, detached house, terraced house, whatever it is, through to a five or six bed bedroom HMO without anybody getting in, interfering with it. You, know, you can't have planned admission, so therefore we can't do it. So that's the reason we're doing it. But because we're doing that, because we're buying in non-Article 4 areas, and because more and more areas are becoming Article 4, and surely they're all going to become it at, at some point. And if you don't know what Article 4 is, just Google it, but essentially you need planned permission to put an HMO in. So in the areas we buy in, you don't. But when HMO regular, when, when Article 4 comes in in these areas, we know that prices, um, 
they rock it up. They crystallize about 50, 60, 70,000 pounds higher than the, than the current value. And that's, that's more than we've paid, of course, because we, we, buy them, we buy them at a certain price. We do the work on them. They're worth even more. And then when Article 4 comes in, it crystallizes, crystallizes the price even higher than that. So uh, it's a short window. You know, is it one year, two years, three years? Depends on the area, of course. We're going to keep trying to find more and more of these areas, but surely time is running out. If you want an HMO, now's the time. Uh, I'm trying to buy as many as I can myself. So I'll hand over to Julie and uh, she will give you a guided tour of the finished product. If you want one of these HMOs, if you want us to find, fix and rent a property just like this for you, um, maybe you haven't got the time, the skill or the inclination to do it yourself, click on the link in the description. It'll take you to a, a, a web page. You can book on a discovery call, it's a Zoom call, I'm usually on them, Adam, Harriet, there'll be other people, there'll be people on them. You can get any question answered um, about your, any, 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 any um, uh, landlord in question, including about HMO questions, and you can find out how we can find, fix and rent a house like this for you. So uh, build your property portfolio, the baby without the labour pain, so to speak. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a good call. Click on it and join it if you've got any questions at all. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye now. Hi, this is property code 23CRS. This was a three bedroom terrace house in Derbyshire and is now a six bedroom HMO, all with en suites. This will rent for 105 to 115 pounds per room. Let me give you a tour around and show you what we've done and the outside space too. This is the entrance hall. We put a notice board up for all the necessary notices a nice mirror and there's a walk through there's pictures and feature walls to make it look attractive and welcoming all the necessary signage is being used to run, run along with the HMO license that we need to adhere to this is bedroom one in here we've installed a wardrobe and a five drawer chest of drawers. There's a bedside cabinet, a lamp above, dress the bed so fully ready. Put a bit of artwork there, it's all been carpeted. The TVs are smart TVs. And we've even put in a laptop table. The blinds are blackout blinds and all the windows are fire escape. In this shower room in the on-set and en-suite it's all PIR lighting. And we make it look as attractive as we can without overdoing it. Then the tenants can put their own little bit in as well. This is the dining kitchen. In here is a washer dryer, a dishwasher, a double oven, but we go a bit further and we put a range cooker in and a superb American style fridge freezer. You've got a combi microwave again, that gives an extra cooking facility. Artwork just really just sets it off. And a nice big feature wall, an easy to clean floor. So this is bedroom two. This room used to be actually the kitchen of the property and we converted it into a bedroom. It's got French doors leading out onto the garden. nice size bed makes it nice and comfortable with a laptop table as well all the radiators have uh, TVRs and again another ensuite a nice shower good size unit this and again with your toilet and the heated towel rail all the en-suites have mechanical extractor vans. The 
the landing. It's quite a nice size landing, again with some more artwork. There's a cleaner's cupboard there that we've created, all nicely carpeted. This is bedroom three, a lovely light room. This used to be the bathroom of the property. And what we've done is put in a Velux window to let the light in with the sloping ceiling. It sort of made it a much pleasanter room to be in. Everything's here, nice size bed. The Velux windows do have pull down blinds as well. And again, another ensuite. Lovely size room, nice and spacious. This is bedroom four. Again, another, another really nice light room. With the artwork to complement it. This one has a built-in wardrobe. With hanging and plenty of space for storage. And in the ensuite, again a nice good sized shower cubicle there. Bedroom five. This is one of the bigger rooms. This is a really attractive room. So you've got your nice big bed, you've got a working desk, plenty of drawers of storage. And the beds also come with storage and underneath. TV, your wardrobe and a little chair and table just to make it more homely. Again, the black outlines are standard. And then we have the ensuite, a lovely size, very roomy ensuite. Good size shower cubicle again. The attic bedroom, this is bedroom six. This one is a really good size room. Lots and lots of space to store. And this one has a built-in wardrobe lots of hanging and lighting perfect perfect area to put everything in again another ensuite This is the back garden of this property. As you can see, the landlord has made special attention and made it a nice, easy, low maintenance and somewhere for the tenants to sit out. There will be table and chairs coming to this property very shortly, so it'll be a nice place for them to be. That's it done. This HMO is now ready to let out. Um, and our lettings team will be advertising this as soon as this video has been delivered to them. If you would like to do something similar, check out the video description and it will tell you exactly what to do to get in touch with us. Thank you.